Coming to you from the all-new Live House in Hollywood, California. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of the new year. We're going to kick it off with a couple of ITLs you can use to kick up your game. But first, Nam is right around the corner, and our special Pensado's Place Live is coming right up. It's featuring Louis Bell, Phineas, and Alex Tume, and it is absolutely going to be popping. Don't miss it. It's Friday the 17th. Five o'clock in the Hilton Pacific Ballroom up on the second floor. Remember, those guys have done from Post Malone to Billie Eilish to 21 Savage, Future, Drake, and so many more. Here's your chance to learn these masterminds' success. Use it for yourself. And afterwards, we're going to hang out. You can meet the guests, meet Dave and I, and win great prizes from our friends at Warm Audio, Auto-Tune, Sweetwater, and who knows who else by then. So... If that's not enough, we've also made it possible for you to attend NAM for just $25. How do you do that? Click this link right down below, enter the code Pensado, and voila, Happy New Year. Absolutely. <laughs> so we want to see you there. It's going to be really great. Uh, our friends at Splice are also giving the Pensado family a special opportunity. Um, Dave, you use Splice a lot, right? I do, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, a whole lot of our friends do. Let me just give you a quick sense of what they are. A digital music platform, it evolves the way you create, you can collaborate, access to sound, software, and that creates inspiration. It keeps creators in their flow and it makes the best production tools affordable and available. It lowers the barriers to entry. So there's a couple cool designations. For instance, Splice Sounds, that's the destination for millions of royalty-free samples, loops, sound effects, and presets. You can choose a monthly plan that works for you, starting as low as $7.99 a month, which is what I think you do, correct? I do, yeah. They have a mobile app that allows you to browse and preview. You can download one shots and loops on the go. And then when you get back to your dawn, you're ready to work, that stuff is ready for you to incorporate and you can use right away. Lots of producers use it. It's a go-to resource for hobbyists to top 40 producers and Grammy Award winners, including friends of ours like Oak Felder, Boy Wonder, uh, the Despacito guys, Andreas and Mauricio. They've all used them on very big hits. Mm -hmm. And if that's not enough, Splice also has a rent-to-own program. It works really simply. You, the creator, pay off the retail price over time and small monthly installments, no interest whatsoever, then you own the license forever. Uh, with Rent to Own, you can start making music right away and you have affordable access to a bunch of amazing world-class plugins like Serum, Arturios 5 Collection, and Isotopes Ozone. It's not just limited to plugins either. They also have a digital audio workstation, a DAW, which is a lot of people like, which is Studio One by PreSonus. Splice is an amazing resource that lots of folks use, and you have a chance to use it too, because here's what they're doing for our crowd. You can get Splice for one month, free access, to Splice Sounds 100. That's 100 credits for the month, and all you gotta do is go to this link you see here, enter Pensado 100, and you are good. We both would recommend hurry up and sign up. Yeah. Use it before the offer ends. Use what the best use and get it done right now. Um, for all the information we just talked about, sign up for our newsletter. Hit like, subscribe, click notify, or hit us up at our own social media, at Pensado's Place, at Herb Trollick, or at Dave Pensado. Um, and now for some tools you can use, here's information from our buddies at Leap Wings Dine One Three. My good friends over at Leapwing have come out with another great version of a plug-in. Dyne One uh, has been in my arsenal forever, and I use it just about every mix, but we've got an update for that. Uh, let me remind you about Stage One. I use that a lot, too. Their, their mono uh, to stereo widening is as good as it gets. It's just my favorite algorithm. And then you've got an option in that plug-in to move things front to rear and uh, check it out. But right now we're, we're playing with uh, Dyne One and a lot of new features on this plugin. In, in fact, the quality is, is, is incomparable and, and that's down here. This is a good place to start if, if, um, if you're ultra, ultra quality, if you got a little processing issues, then this takes you up to master quality, which is, uh, I'm guessing, uh, in increasing the linear phase of these of these crossovers and then uh, then low latency for the laptop guys i love the laptop guys this is a song uh colin fish a new artist 
incredible bass player. This is the first mix I did for him. I really, really enjoyed this mix. Check him out when you can. I think this is coming out soon. I've got this on my drum aux, so this is on my drums. And if you can see, I'm in parallel mode, which means that um, you can think of this a little bit similar to, to maybe a mix knob, but I like calling it a parallel mode because it's, it's got a little more detail to it. Okay, so um, now let's hear it without it. So I'm, I'm sure you could hear that. Um, if you couldn't, just listen for the energy, listen for all the things that I kind of harp on all the time. But uh, um, it's more than just getting compression. It's more than just getting some limiting. It's more than just any of those things. It, it, it's actually contributing to the feel of the song. Um, so let's break, let's break down how we came, came up with that. One of the features that I find very, very useful is, is this uh, um, center side mode. It's their proprietary version of MS. So, so let's check this out in a little bit in, in, in regular stereo. Clearly, clearly, clearly better. Now, when I first started um, using MS mode, middle side, um, I, I, had, I had problems kind of understanding exactly what it was trying to do. Think of the center side mode as leaving a spot in the middle of the mix, which is the center of the mix, for the vocal to, 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 to shine in. So you, you create a little bit of an EQ trough if you, if, you, if you have a graph of the EQ. And then on the sides, you, you want to get uh, your, your, your effects sounding good, you, your effects returns that are mostly stereo, background vocals, things like that. And then in the center, you've got your kick, your snare, your lead vocal, things like that, bass. And so you don't want to take out too much of the low end, but you want to, you want to control everything in that low end as good as you can. Okay, so it's a little bit subtle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to, to parallel off. So now we're, we're working with the entire mix in, in, in uh, center side mode. Now, if I take this off, um, this little chain telling me that it's linked, we can, we can do things separately. And, 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 and that's what we're going to try to do to create a little bit of, of true, true, true uh, MS center side. I'm going to kick this up a little bit um, uh, because it's going to be a little lower. Okay, now we already did something that I hope you caught. I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to show you how, how, how one way to control the center. Listen, listen for what's going on in the middle of the mix. Now, what I like to do is deselect this, and I like to I like to create something that gives me a little bit of um, a little bit of energy. So, on on the on the center part of of, of this, I'm going to take um, some of these these frequencies like 800. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tame them a little bit in the middle. 
so that when you hear them on the sides, they sound more dramatic. So here we go. Okay, so in center, in center side mode, there's so much we can do. Check this out. Um, what I'm going to try to do is, is give us a space in the center of the, of the, of the mix, frequency-wise. And so what, what's, what usually occupies that space, um, kicks, snares, bass, lead vocal. And, and I want to I be, be cognizant of the fact that, 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 that they're going to be the star, you know. And, and when you hear them uh, in, in, in a stereo, uh, they have a, they have just a wonderful place to sit, I guess is the way to say it. And then the sides, we try to do different things. So I might take a little bit of high end off the sides so it won't compete with the high end of the, uh, of the lead vocal. We want that lead vocal to sparkle right in the middle. So let, let's see if we can try that, see if we can make it all work. The first thing we need to do is deselect the side and the center working together. So let's work on the center. Now, if you'll notice, I've got one, two, three, four bands here, uh, uh, four, four, four EQs, and, and they represent the five bands. So, so really low to, to 160 is this band, and then so forth. From 160 to probably 800 is this band, from 800 to 4,000 is this band, and then uh, 11,000 up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this down a little bit while I'm playing. Go on, go on, some designer. Okay, so we get we're getting somewhere. We get, get we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to to make the side information be a little more constant and a little more in my face. So let's try that. So let's go to side mode. I think I can hear that pretty good. Um, I'm hoping it's coming through to you. But what I'm trying to do is 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 create um, something that I visualize as as musicians on a stage, and I'm 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 on the stage with those musicians. And, and what, what am I hearing on the stage from, from all the uh, monitors on the stage? And, and it's, it's never in mono, it's always in stereo. So let's keep working for a minute. Okay, so what I'm hearing is we need to, we need to touch up a little bit of the compression on these two bands. Kind of like a little bit of that. So you see what we're doing? If, if you watch the meters here, you'll see where we're compressing these various bands. Um, now let's move to um, to parallel off, and let's see. We we might lose a little bit of volume, uh, but but the effect should really increase of, of the of the center side because we're now we're now um, putting. It's as if we're putting this plug-in across the whole mix rather than putting it across a uh, or treating it more like an effect where you send to it, and we call that a parallel. 
Hope that made sense. Okay, so now let's turn up the center a little bit to kind of compensate for the uh, lack of the parallel. Man, that's pretty good. Are you guys hearing that? Ooh, man. Uh, so, so what I'm hearing, listen to the vocal, the lead vocal, but then, but then through your peripheral hearing, not seeing it, listen for the sides. Watch how the sides just, just leave a trough. Watch this. I don't, uh, in here, that doesn't feel too subtle to me. It feels like, um, like, like something I really, really, really want to have in my mixes. Um, let me show you a couple other things real quick. Here you've got um, the ability to have the detection circuit relate more to RMS levels, the cousin of LUFS, which is, if you've been working at all in, in the streaming service world, that's very important. And so you can get, it's, it's an 80%, uh, so this would be 80-20 RMS to peak. And then this channel link, uh, I like it, I, like, I usually like mine zero, some people like it 100%. And so what that is, is the left and right uh, are, are moving like this. And I like that off so that if there's a little bit more going here, the compressor works differently and doesn't affect this side. But when it's 100%, the compressor is, is, is linked, and so it's, it's, it, I like that movement. Some people hate it. I love it. I love it. Love it. And, and um, now the weighting is um, we've got five bands, and this determines how they interact. So with zero, they're completely independent. And remember, we've got, it, we've got our options for quality here, master quality, low latency, and ultra quality. So if, if we're really working on that, we might want to go to master quality. It helps us with uh, with the way the bands interact, and they interact in a happy, happy, happy way. So the global band trim, that's self-explanatory. So we've got a lot of things that we can do in this section. You've got a lot of control here, but it's not, it's not control for control sakes. Everything, in my opinion, uh, contributes to a musical concept or, 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 or a way to get uh, more out of something or, or a way to take the energy to another level. What is music? You know, music is something that should grab you by the throat, throw you on the ground and stomp on your neck, you know? I mean, it, 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 should, it should cause a reaction from you. And if you can get that reaction, you're going to get a lot of people liking your music, a lot of people coming to your shows, a lot of streams and all that. And in today's world, it's hard to stand out. So the beauty of something like this is you can make, you can make your mix stand out on a playlist. You got a, a song in front of you, boring, a song in front of you, boring, a song in front of you, boring. You just kick ass all over the place, song after you, boring. That's what you try to do. You can't always do it, but in your mind, you can try. And in, in, with the right tools like, uh, like Dine One, it can be achieved. All right, guys. Good to be back, right, Earl? Here we are, one more time. Man, what good information. That was very helpful. Man, please look us up at NAM coming up real soon, and hope to see you there. And if not, we'll see you soon next week. <laughs>